Hi guys, Chuck here, KK6USY for Ham Radio Ventures. Welcome. So, have you guys ever had uh, the need to, oh man, I'm doing something with my camera there. You guys ever had the need to like, uh, throw like your KX2, your 705, something like that into a backpack or something and, uh, you know, some kind of a bag to take it out to a little outing or something? Well, I do that occasionally. And today, I went down to the bay. You know, it's been raining here for weeks. I haven't been out doing anything fun for a while. So we're going to go out today, take a short walk, and I'm going to show you something from Three Pigeons. Now, I will have to say that Three Pigeons did send this to me, and I want to thank them for that. They uh, sent me a backpack. It's a tactical backpack. Uh, I'll show it to you in a little bit. It's actually a, uh, a range bag, too. And I'll show you a picture of what a range bag is if you didn't know what that is. And we're down at the bay. This is a San Pablo Bay, San Francisco Bay area. Kind of the same thing. And I think we'll set up an antenna. I brought with me the, uh, the Apollo from Coffee and Ham Radios. So it'll be resonant, so it'll work. And I brought my 705. The 705, uh, uh, it's not what I would call a really great backpacking radio, but I wanted to show how much room this thing had and how, how well it works, okay? Walk up to this, I think there's a, a table up here we can set up on and I can show you guys all about this little backpack. It's fairly small, as you guys can see. Maybe you can kind of see it there. Let's see, let me get more light on it for you. It's not real big. There are a few things that I don't like about it, and I will tell you that. It's uh, nothing bad about it, just for me. And that would be the size of it. I'm, uh, I'm about six foot two. And if you were about uh, five eight, this thing would probably fit you really good. And a little small for me, but it works. Let me get up here. I think there's a table up here. Hopefully nobody's at it. I will set things out and we will show you what this thing's all about. let's start at the back of this thing guys now I did have my Yesu FT 3d on to the uh, front there has a nice little strap I'll show that to you here's the straps guys now if you look it's nicely padded so it is very comfortable I will say for me though being kind of small uh, not the most comfortable for me for my size part of that's a, a little big but uh, what I would say is it'd be nice if these were maybe just a little longer and it has the waist straps. The waist straps hit me really high because, because I can't really hang this down far enough. I, I mean, I had it, I had it up a little bit so that this neck thing was in a good spot for me and I, it, it, it won't go any lower. It does have a couple of nice little D rings on them here. These uh, clips are nice and big. They fit, fit together really nice. There is quite a bit of adjustment there. For me, I would actually like to see this come with, either without, but I, I wouldn't say without because they are kind of nice to have, but maybe where you could take these off. Maybe make these removable. It also has some nice padding and this is to help ventilation. So you have a little bit of ventilation up your, up, up your back there, all right? It has a few little spots here to hang things if you want to. Now, one thing this doesn't have is a water pocket, but I do have a, a deal where I can hang, if I hook, hook it here, it will hang a water bottle up front here. And that helps get some of the weight forward, okay? So the straps and everything look nice and solid. The stitching looks good. I did find one little stitch that was out, but I'm just gonna take it and melt it with a lighter because it wasn't really bad. It was just wasn't finished off, I think. So inside here, it has a rain fly. And you just pull this out okay and that goes over the top of it to keep it waterproof I'm just gonna stick that back down in there it is tight fit though guys probably need to fold it in there better than I did and then this has this this part here to keep it from falling off so if you were say you're running or or you on a motorcycle or something it wouldn't come off here's got nice ties they, they put the uh, heat shrink around all the ties here so it's a nice good tie to grab hold of 
with some uh, some pot, some cord there, some cordage. That's pretty much the back of it. Let me turn it around. As you can see, it has a strap that goes over the back, and I, I just threw my coat in there just in case it got cold down here this morning. So we'll take that out. This is called, what do they call these, like a beaver towel or something like that. It's adjustable also. And you just put it in there, and then you can sit stuff down inside there nicely. It does come with a uh, nice little flag. It says three pigeons on it. That's removable, and you can put it wherever you want. You can put it over there. I just happen to put it right in the middle. Here's their insignia. This is their, their label here, three pigeons. Uh, you see it's three pigeons. And then again, we have nice zippers. They're pretty easy to use. In fact, it seems like as I use them, they get a little bit better. Pretty nice there. It's got the Molly stuff here, so you can hook stuff to it if you want to hook more bags to this. Everywhere up, you got them up here, got them down here. Let's just pop this one open and see what's in here. Now, I just threw a few things in here today, guys. So I've got like a first aid kit, something you would probably want. Got a knife here. I threw in a, uh, a little headlamp. Headlamps are always nice. And don't, don't tear me up, guys, if I miss stuff that you thought you might have. Got an extra battery for the camera. I just threw this stuff together real quick to come down here and walk. I didn't have a whole lot of time today. So that's a nice pocket. It's got a few little extra things like that where you can hang stuff in there. And just got this pocket here. On the, let's see, on the front of it. And that's all. That's all on that one. So let me close that one back up. Okay, up here we have a pocket up top. This is the outside pocket. Same thing, we have uh, a nice little zippered section up here. Put paperwork and stuff in there and keep it uh, closed off. It's got a nice little key holder, throw your keys on there. A couple nice little pockets up here that you can throw things in. Small things, like I probably could have put my battery right here, guys. And it's got this part here so stuff won't fall out. It opens up, but it, it opens up and then it keeps stuff from falling out. You have another bigger pocket here. You can probably get a cell phone. Let's just try it. I got a decent sized cell phone. And that fits in there perfect. Strap it over. See there? All right. I'm going to save the middle one for now. We do have this one here. Also, this is in the back. And I had enough room to throw in a Evolve 3. See there? So that fit in there nicely. This actually goes into the main section, guys. And I just slipped that down behind. I'll show you. This has some special stuff. I'll show you on the inside. Now, I am going to open this one up now. Well, let's look at the side here. So here's the side pockets. It has a little pocket here that you can put some thin stuff in. Some more molly down here, guys, for uh, hooking more bags on if you want to hook more bags. All right. I did throw a water in there. That was the uh, place for the water for me. I did throw this mast in here. We'll just pull that out. It's a short mast. And then this one zips down about three quarters. And then I threw a couple little treats in there because last time I forgot to do that and I needed some food on the trail. Now let's look at the other side. The other side's were, well, let me let me look at the top here. Now this opens into the main into the front of the bag. And it had enough room to throw my 705 in there guys with the case on it okay hopefully you guys can see that so we'll just leave that out for now so i think we will set up for a little bit here all right that opens above the main uh section okay and this is the main section here i have to say the zippers are working much better and there's where i had that laptop in there and this is what's different about this and let me show you how we get to those on the opposite side where i had these we have this side here has pretty much the same pocket but nothing on the outside more molly when you open this up though look at this you have access to these three bags okay now i will say what you stuff in these bags, if you make them thicker than they are, will make it harder to get them in and out. But I did have three. I only used two of them today. This one has nothing in it. But let me show you the bag itself. I'm going to open it up there. And just a padded bag. 
has a section over here. You could put some tools or whatever your pencil, pencils, pens, whatever you want to put in there. And the other side just has basically just a pocket that you could throw stuff down inside there. All right. So that's one. Then we have this one. Same thing again. Nice little has they have little pull handles on, so it makes them easy to get out, guys. Now, I did put some stuff in this one, I think. All right, this one has uh, my QRP coaxes. I got way, way more than I need for today. And same thing again, you have a pocket up here just like the other one. And on this side, another place to put things, whatever you need to put in there. This thing will hold way more than I put in it today, guys. So we'll leave this one out too for now. All right, so then I have my third one. I don't even remember what I put in here, to tell you the truth. It has the same handle on it like the others. Let me unzip it all the way here. This is all my cables and microphone and stuff like that for the 705. Got a couple rubber band, a rubber band and a, a wire tie thing to tie my mast up. And the other side, now on this side here, my uh, Apollo antenna. So we're gonna set that up. So there's the opening in that thing, guys. And it does have like a little Velcro thing here that, uh, yeah, this you can Velcro up if you want to, to make it more closed off or just leave it down. It's still, this is all open right now, but you can close it off with this piece. I don't know if it, you take this up and Velcro it up, you can close off the top and then the top is its own section. And this thing has also is this nice little handle at the top and a lot of times when i'm just going taking it out to the truck or something this is what i'll grab it also has d-rings up here on the front here like here has one on the other side so if you need to tie say you're taking this on your motorcycle but you just want to tie it down on the back of the rack or something it's got plenty of tie downs to tie that down so that's a good feature also i think uh yeah it'd be easy to tie it down all right so here's the three pigeons uh, website guys i will we'll put a link of that down in the description and also check the description, make sure and see if there's any kind of a discount code if you want to buy anything from the store here. So this is the one we're looking at here and you can see how this has all these bags here that I showed those to you earlier. And then right here, they're just showing different things like they even have a radio in here <laughs> and just different things you can put in here. And now we're just showing the makeup and they're showing how it has the, uh, the pads here to, to wick the moisture away from you when you're sweating and stuff on your back here and get a little air panel. If you can see the air can roll through these areas here showing you all the different places that it opens and then it shows you the the waterproof cover that i showed you guys now it also comes in black so it comes in black and uh tan you come down you can actually one thing i didn't mention on those all these all these zippers you can lock the zippers so if you have something valuable in one one of them i mean somebody could just pull you know take the whole thing but you could put in a, uh, a little lock like this one here that it shows on the page here. That would be something that go through the two of the, you have your two that come together and it goes through them, okay? Now this is the model, this is a tactical versatile outdoor backpack, uh, tactical range backpack. So this is like for taking your stuff to the range, you know, and, and having, you know, you put each one of your pistols away and uh, throw it inside the, the bot things there if you're taking it to the range. All right, so it shows 2.6 kilograms. That is 5.7 pounds, okay, Imperial. And the brand is Three Pigeons. And again, they're just showing you different things you can put on it. That this has like a helmet, like for oh, tactical stuff or for climbing or something like that. And it's showing you how you can hang your keys and stuff in here, guys. It's crafted from an ultra durable 1000D nylon. We've got the customizable mole uh, panels. You know, those are those are on almost all the all the sides of it, the, you know, all three sides of the outside, the back and stuff. Um, it's 40 liters. It says 40 spacious, 40 liter capacity, and it's ample storage for outdoor essentials. I, I tell you what, I packed quite a bit of stuff in there. Still had lots of room left over, guys. Had padded shoulder straps, ventilated back panel to provide super, superior comfort during long hours of wear. And I will say my back did say fairly cool. I mean, you're never going to not sweat when uh, something's touching your back like that. Uh, water resistant protection. Uh, it looks like it's probably water resistant, but then waterproof when you put that cover over the top. Okay. All right, guys. Hopefully this uh, review was helpful for anybody that's looking for something like this. It's a nice little backpack. The price is not too bad. 
Uh, you get a actually you get a lot with all those extra bags and stuff. So the price, uh, if you were to price another one out and add all those bags, those bags cost twenty five to fifty dollars a piece a lot of times from certain companies. I don't know exactly. I'm just top top of my head there. If you did like that, please hit the like. If you're new here, think about subscribing. Hit the uh, the bell. Hit all that way you get all my future videos. I'm Chuck KK6 USY for Ham Radio Ventures down at the Bay, San Francisco. 73 all and I uh, hope to guys catch you guys on the airways.